I'm here with Trip. Hi, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How are you? Good, very good. Uh, how do you feel after your set? Well, I had a little mishap there. <laughs> I just pressed the wrong cue point. I yeah. don't know what happened, but otherwise it, it was fine. I mean, I could play like hours longer because that's what I prefer to do. do yeah. Like long build up sets, but uh, it goes really fast. You're happy to be here in Amsterdam and ready for your AD event? Yes, yes. It's been a while since, well, for everyone basically because yeah. of COVID. So I'm looking really forward to tonight and to walk around because it's been a while since I've been here. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, so you've recently released a new album called uh, Unboxed. Yes. How is it going? Can you tell us about it? Um, yeah, good. It's been I've been making music for almost 20 years now, but I've never made an album until wow. now. I did a tons of, of EPs, but I never had the urge to really do an album because I feel an album needs to have a story. And right. because over the years I started making slower forms of music, coming a bit back to my roots with like acid techno and all mm. kinds of stuff. So there was a story to tell and suddenly there was extra time on my hands with COVID. Yeah. So I started writing that and yeah, it just made sense suddenly. And basically I'm working on the second album directly after oh, wow. it. It's almost done. So wow. yeah, it <laughs> Amazing. kind of got me warm yeah. and I have more stories <laughs> to tell. You waited a long time, but now you're like... <laughs> yeah, yeah, first. yeah. So yeah, no, it's great. Um, your cover of the album is beautiful. Thank you. Have you made it? Yeah. I've seen you like to paint yeah, as well. Yeah, Can I, you tell us a little bit about that and the inspiration behind um, it? It's acrylic on canvas. So yeah, with a very abstract technique, but it, it's like a sort of clownish face. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of resembles the, the, for me personally, what the music scenes are going through. It's something like a clown show yeah. and everybody's just doing their thing. And, <laughs> and it's also to, to do with Unboxed. Basically, the album's theme is about unboxing myself as an artist, but also as a listener to be open-minded. And because all the paint is flowing, to one another it's like yeah it's styles that mix into each other and that's a bit the concept of mm -hmm. the in a nutshell trying to find my words <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i'm having fun with these uh, paintings and it's gonna be the trend a bit with my label that uh, i'm painting everything and abstract paintings pretty much that is so cool yeah it's <laughs> nice <laughs> um you play that tomorrowland yes how was your set how did that feel to play at the biggest festival in the world it was the smallest stage on the biggest festival yeah. but that's fine i mean it's it's nice it's i've never been there before i played a lot of festivals mainly actually abroad mm -hmm. so to play tomorrowland was was quite special and it was in the rave cave so it's like a very tiny area where you can kind of almost walk past okay. but it's like this cave and it's where all the dedicated techno people are and th that can have a little harder edge towards yeah. music so i actually ended up playing a bunch of hardcore as well Ooh, so it wasn't okay, just nice. uh, yeah, techno yeah. or anything <laughs> But it was really cool. Yeah. So you played in like so many different cities and countries. Do you think that you play so like that your sets are a little bit different depending on where you're playing? Yeah, I try to adapt uh, basically everywhere I go. Mm -hmm. uh, it depends how early I'm playing and what the lineup is. And also a bit, I try to do some digging about the crowd or w w yeah, where are you at? Yeah. But yeah, it's different everywhere. And uh, yeah, like I said, I really enjoy doing these long build up sets. So yeah, if I know people tend to like more hardcore, I'm going to play a little faster, or a little harder. Right. Because that's what I played a long time before, like really hard stuff and yeah. fast stuff. It's a bit more of a build up thing I do now. And sometimes I don't even make it until the fast stuff because I enjoy too much the slow things at yeah. the moment. So it's nice <laughs> so you're from from belgium right mm -hmm. uh has do you think um has that like influenced in any way your introduction and your relationship with electronic music yeah i i think so belgium has a very rich background when it comes to electronic music from yeah the early rns records and I'm, i try to educate myself a lot with all those things and also with the album a lot is inspired by 90s music with when music for me was more pure and more raw and the, the essence of everything for me nowadays it's a bit too plastic kind of you know yeah. everything is just bit yeah of a clown show. <laughs> yeah yeah sort of <laughs> it's 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 all this yeah media presence and and it, yeah it's easy to forget the essence about music and that's where i want to go back to right yeah. about that i've um scrolled through your instagram a little bit mm -hmm. and i see how you don't take it seriously in the sense where you really i feel like you just show yourself as like who you are and do you think yeah. nowadays djs kind of try to you know like put up a certain image or something just for sure because of social i don't know media? if it's because of their managers but i've never yeah i think maybe our kind of managers in the, the harder edge of, of of electronic music is less 
demanding of how you have your online presence, but it is kind of what works if you just do these selfies all the time. This is kind of what people want to see, but for me, it's about music and I know they like to see my face and everything, but I don't put it on that much because yeah. I'm not so comfortable with everything. Yeah. But yeah, in the end, for me, it's about music and, and yeah, exactly. the choice but of how you want to promote yourself. Yeah, and you just stay, to, just stay true to yourself. So exactly, really. yeah. <laughs> um, so to finish this interview, mm -hmm. if you weren't a DJ or a producer, what do you think you would have been? Um, well, yeah, next to producing and DJing, I'm obviously a painter as yeah. well. I do graphic design as well. But I would definitely be more busy with the arts, yeah. so definitely more painting and I think I would pick up sculpturing as well because wow. it's been since, yeah, I had to make a difficult choice back in the day if I wanted to do more paintings or that, but I always enjoyed doing both of them and music took such a big part of my life that I forgot all of the other stuff that I actually picked up painting only a few years ago as well, so yeah, I would definitely focus more on that side yeah. then of, uh, of the creative uh, that's things. really interesting yeah. <laughs> thank you so much for coming here doing this set and having no this uh, really interesting interview with me thank you I hope you enjoyed coming here and yeah, I thank you wish for you me. an amazing set at ADE as well thank you